Uh, Alright. Oh. If I'm recording this game, that means something significant must have happened. And it did. Agent Venom is now tier 2. It took. How long did it take? It took 14 days to bump him up to tier 2. And that's because during that's because I took advantage of the event and the event all pretty much my stat layout it's not the greatest thing it, it's definitely not the greatest thing that people have seen it's far from it a lot of people I've seen have gone for an all attack build and that gives him that bonus attack I don't really care much for that to be perfectly honest I'm more of a I want him to survive which he does have that he does have the ability to survive for quite a bit I hate the fact that he's all physical. As for his custom gear, I gave him an all defense boost and a recovery rate boost. So that so that already helps out. And along with this 10% chance of his attack boost by only 20% on attack. That, that's just great in itself. I don't know if he's that. As for his mask gear, I don't know what to do. I probably will change it all to skill cooldown because my alliance is not that high strength, and I don't have the I don't have the cards to boost his cool boost his cooldown rate. But right now it's at 20%, which I think that's like I think 20% is around three or four seconds of cooldown, which works great for him. And if you don't know his tier 2, his tier 2 passive increases his critical damage by 15%. It gives him a guaranteed critical rate of 30%. Increases the effect of Venom Frenzy with, when he, when, while he's attacking, 30% chance of his body to attack. He recovers 15% of his max HP. Boosts all his attacks. I went in and like I totally I just beast mode it. I was like why why am I not recording? So I don't really have a doesn't really Agent Venom doesn't really have like a straight as far as I know he doesn't exactly have straight combat team bonus. 
as far as I know. He doesn't have a straight combat team bonus that he can like set up. Well, he does, okay. So I can put in Red Hulk if I ever actually get him up to six stars, but that's not gonna happen anytime soon. Because Red Hulk is a pseudo pain character. And I don't think he has a bonus with yeah, he doesn't have a bonus with um, Green Goblin, which would have been great. Oh well, I got one. So, hopefully I don't screw this up. I didn't know that there was an actual end to Alliance Battle. Alliance Battle will basically end... Oh, actually, it doesn't even end there. Like, once you acquire all the... <laughs>
what's the, oh no criteria oh wow okay oh but i can't use the characters i used already oh that sucks i can't use the characters i already used to take this on which that that actually su that's the suck that's the thing that sucks about this like you cannot use cannot repeat characters character but that's probably a way to forward in to actually for um net marble or whoever to gain well to make sure that they're getting money well that team was actually and thinking about that team that team was actually pretty great I forgot his name, but yeah, that guy has, that guy has an ability to pretty much negate any type of invincibility, guard, physical immunity, blast immunity. He has the ability to negate all that. Along and there's very few characters that can do that right now. Let's see. That'll work.
Yeah. See, it's so much, it's so different. And now you get challenge mode, which you can pay, like, gold to try and challenge the high score. And I'm sitting there like, why would I want to do that? Screw that. <laughs> Especially since I still can't use, I still can't use the characters I want, like, the characters that would 